guys, what is happening YouTubers? I'm so excited today to show you a different kind of deck for a change. I've been going around and using the Gigalith and Crooked Out deck a little bit too much. So I figured, you know something, let me play single player mode because I know that until I have enough cards to build up my Blastoise Floatzel deck that my options to creating different kind of decks will be limited. So I figured like, hey, single player gives you like different themes. Let me just mix that up. So we're here against a computerized opponent in single player mode and I'm using the Fire deck which bases the whole thing around around uh, I believe Typhlosion, Flareon, and um, something else I'm forgetting. Ah, Nine Tails. So I brought up my Rattata because I want to focus more so on setting up the EV and the Cyndaquil in the back, by back row without having them taking unnecessary damage. See, this guy has Natsu. I don't want Cyndaquil taking that uh, that big 10%. Come on, man. That's 10 damage, man. That's a lot. But anyway, I'm just going to attach a Fire Energy, I believe, to Rattata in this case because I do want to inflict a little bit of damage. Maybe I could take advantage of that. I don't know what what he has in his hand, maybe he has Zatu in his hand, and I have seen that Zatu before, it does like 50 damage or whatever for two energies, so I don't want to be out of the loop, ah, uh, surprise kill on my red tad up at the dust, and then like, I don't have my guy set up, so, you know, at least inflict a little bit of damage before something comes around the corner, you never know what happens, so I'm able to inflict 10, um, not 10 damage, he does 10 to me, I do 20 to him, oh, look at that, he evolves into a Matang, and an energy attached to that, you know I'm looking out for that, so he packs me for 10 more damage, racks up 20 in total, so I get to draw now. I think I drew yes, eradicate. So I guess you evolve my uh, retardant to eradicate. So I get to stay a little bit more, uh, stay around, stick around for a little bit longer. The great thing about this eradicate is that it only takes one energy, one colorless, one any type of energy in order to do both of its attacks. So that's awesome. I can focus on both of my guys that I have out on the bench at the moment. So I think I'm gonna go for eradicate's primary attack, which deals damage in accordance to how many damage counters the defending Pokemon already has on. It. For instance, if you have 20 damage counters on you, 20% um, damage, it will do 20 base. If you have like 80 damage on you, the attack will do 80 base for one energy. So that's awesome and sucks at the same time. So I'm just going to heal the 30 damage that uh, not to racked up on my eradicate so far. Uh, nice to have eradicate stay a little bit longer. And I think I'm just going to finish off this not to here. So uh, good game, not to. Yes, yes, yes. Get that prize real quick. Knockout. So, uh, let's see what I get here. I get a fire energy, which is always great. And he brings in Matang now. And Matang does an attack that deals 50 base, if I'm not mistaken. So, he goes for the copycat, uh, draws one more extra card because I have three as opposed to his two when he used copycat. So, he, oh no, I'm, I'm actually mistaken. I thought that was Matang in play. He it just happens to be Zubat. And Zubat has an attack called Double Attack. It's interesting, very creative, that uh, inflicts 10 damage to two targets that he chooses. So, I guess he chose Eradicate and. And, um, something else I forgot already. So I'm just gonna go for the, um, the secondary attack because if the opposing Pokemon doesn't have any damage counters on it, then the first attack won't inflict any damage counters at all. It won't inflict any, it won't inflict any damage at all. Interesting. So now he's gonna go for the double attack and target my two Pokemon at the bench, which is like menial damage. It's 10%, but you know that stuff does add up. You know, he's like, hey, when you do 10 and then 50, you know, that, that could be your 60. It's like, dang, I could have survived and killed it off. And that has happened to me before, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm just gonna go for the secondary attack now, um, right? It did, they both deal 30 at the moment, but anyway, it knocks out the Zubat, which has uh, 50 HP initially. I get another fire energy, which is amazing. Now he decides to bring in his Matang. He's like, yeah, is that an HP? Well, I could knock this sucker out. Side punch for the kill. Except not. I can't. I apparently can't do math now. So, um, I just bring in my Vulpix that I just drew, which is amazing. Attach the energy onto that. Nine Tails is a great addition to this uh, new starter deck that I have because what happens with fire decks uh, in general is that they burn a lot of their energies, and Nine Tails just happens to recover all of that from the graveyard. So, if you guys are running like uh, powerful competitive decks like Reshi Bor, those decks happen to use a lot of those decks to get energies back in play to continue to use powerful attacks you know like flamethrower or all that other jazz that make uh you discard your energies or whatever so it's actually a great cycle so he knocks out my eradicate finally bit the dust and i bring in um my flareon i believe that's what i have in play at the moment yes i do i can barbecue your behind with the flamethrower yes yes in the game you get barbecued in the ttg you get barbecued 90 we killed him threats up in here so uh <laughs> Matang bites the dust, right? Bites the dust, actually. 
and I get another prize. I get another vol pace. I'm like, ah, oh, I'm hoping for a nine tails. I can just use that heat acceleration and get my energies back. But it will, requ- it will require me retreating Flareon, which is wreaking havoc right now. Come on, man. What you got is the Zubats? What you doing? <laughs> Seriously. Okay, so another vol pace. Come on, I got three of you suckers, man. <laughs> Where's my nine tails? So I'm just gonna evolve my Cyndaquil that I have out in play, right? With one energy, standing alone, not able to do anything if I was to happen to switch it into uh, an attack. So I'm just gonna go and uh, draw two, right? Get two fire energies. Yes, amazing. Flames all over the freaking place. And which is kind of dumb, because I wish, you know, I should have attached the energy to Flareon so that it will kill the Zubat. But then again, I didn't necessarily want to waste a fire energy on a Zubat, you know? So he's doing, especially when he's doing 10%. I mean, come on, it's 10 damage. Damage. What are you doing? And why didn't you use double attack and deal 10 damage to something else? Why use glide? What are you doing? You know how to play this game? So I drew another fire energy, I believe, which is um awesome, right? Attach that to that nice um that nice cool there. So I'm just gonna go for the flame tail and finish off uh, another Zubat. Uh, those things are so annoying. If you guys check out my Facebook page, I just recently posted a picture where uh the red where the character red stepped into Mount Moon, I believe, and as soon as he put one foot in Mount Moon. A whole bunch of Zubats bombarded him, and that is so annoying in the simulator game. So, the kill seeing the Zubat kind of reminded me of that moment. So, his attack actually deals 10 damage to uh, times the amount of heads that he gets consecutively, and I think he got like uh, 30 uh, three heads. Yes, it deals 30 damage, but hey, remember, 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 remember that I'm a Flareon, and Flareon's not having none of that. No, flamethrower, son. So you can get out of here. Get them big threats out of here. <laughs> Uh, execute is gone, so looks like he doesn't have too much of anything left, and um, it looks like I have um, another fire energy, so if you don't kill this Flareon off right now, it looks like that I have the game, yes, yes, we are resilient up in this place, and I got that added power, so, um, a fire energy, yes, and um, use that added power, yes, deal 10% more, yes, and we're gonna inflict 100 base for a good game, so anyway, that was a great game, definitely had a lot of fun viewing. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. Uh, definitely like if you enjoyed my comedy and the, and the video and whatnot. And uh, stick around for more. I will be definitely posting more. So, peace. What you doing?